In this tutorial, I'll show you how to crochet a Romanian cord with worsted weight yarn and with blanket yarn. You can use the chapters to skip to the blanket yarn if you wish. To start, make a slip knot and chain 2. Then, skip the first chain and single crochet into the second chain from the hook. If you turn your work to the left 90 degrees, you can see that there's a V-stitch under the hook and then a bump underneath that V-stitch. Insert your hook into the bump. And do a single crochet. Make sure to crochet with a loose tension the whole time throughout. You'll turn your work again and see the V-stitch. Under that V-stitch, there will now be two bumps. Insert your hook into the two bumps. I use my finger to drag the bumps onto the hook. Then, do a single crochet. You'll follow this pattern for the rest of the length of your cord. Under the V-stitch, you'll see two bumps. Insert your hook into those two bumps and then do a single crochet. There's the V-stitch, there's the two bumps. Insert the hook into the two bumps and do a single crochet. V-stitch, two bumps, insert, and single crochet. There's the V-stitch and the two bumps and you'll see that they're the same two bumps as on the front. Instead of turning, you can just go straight into them once you get used to it. Then finish your single crochet. Insert into the two bumps, single crochet. Continue this pattern for however long you want your cord to be and you're all set. Since the Romanian cord is thick, it makes for a sturdy strap which is perfect for bags. I also love the textured design. Now, I'll show you the Romanian cord with blanket yarn. Make your slip knot and then chain two. I'll be using a nine millimeter hook with this yarn. I normally use a six millimeter hook with burnap blanket, but it's good to size up for Romanian cords. If you can't size up, that's fine. Just make sure to crochet really loosely. Skip the first chain and single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Now if you look at your work from the side, you'll see that V-stitch. And then the random bump at the bottom. Insert your hook into the bump. Then single crochet. Now there's a V-stitch and there's two bumps. There will be two bumps for the rest of the pattern. Insert your hook into both bumps. Sometimes I need to use my finger to drag the bumps onto the hook. Then finish with a single crochet. 
Repeat what you just did. There's the V-stitch and the two bumps. Insert your hook into the two bumps and then use that to single crochet. Two bumps, insert, and single crochet. Repeat this until you're satisfied with the length of your Romanian cord, and then you're done.